Hi everyone, welcome to Make It Happen. I'm Geoffrey and today I'm going to show you how I sharpen my jointed knives with this 3D printed jig. Alright guys, so I got my jointed something like 5 months ago now and I have to say that it gave me some troubles. First, you need to know that this machine is not a professional tool. It was quite cheap, I got it for something like 350 euro and you can definitely feel that it was the price. After just a few weeks of use, I could feel that it was not removing material quite well. So first, I couldn't believe that the blades were already unsharpened and I was scared that this machine was definitely not worth it. Eventually, I gave it a try and decided to sharpen the blades to see if there would be any differences. Thankfully, I did it and now it really works better and it prevented me not to use this machine anymore because I was starting to find it not efficient and useless. So first you need to remove the knives. In my case it's not that much complicated. You have all these screws here that you can remove and here is one first knife and then if I turn I get the second one with the same kind of screw. Once the blades were taken apart, I could definitely see that they were already unsharpened and even a little bit damaged on some places. So first I started to give them a good cleanup with some acetone to remove any traces of paint or glue that would come from the palette. Then I took the measure of the angle on the bevel of my blade. I found that the angle was 40 degrees. I don't know if it's the same for all the blades, so I recommend you to take the measure as well on yours. Alright, so first I tried several designs of jigs with wood. I tried a triangle shape with a 40 degrees angle. Actually, I didn't want to make grooves first because the wheel of my table saw moves by itself whenever I try to make a groove. I can't lock it properly and get a constant height. So I chose that triangle shape first. Unfortunately, it was not accurate at all. I couldn't set up the height of the plate properly at the same level on both sides. So there were no point using that kind of shape. Then I eventually tried to make another jig with some grooves in order to be able to get the same height for both knives. So I started to square up a piece of wood and then cut it to length. I set up a 40 degree angle on my table saw and I managed to lock the wheel of my table saw with some clamp to lock it on its position and get a nice cut. Unfortunately, accuracy was still not there, so I decided to use my 3D printer to get something nice and square. Okay, so first I designed the two knives with the right bevel angle. The purpose of designing the blade is to know where are the holes on the face of the blade to let the same holes on the jig as well to be able to insert some screws and lock the position of the blade on the jig. I then positioned the blade on a certain way that both bevel are parallel facing the same direction. Then I started to design the bottom part of the jig. And here I am doing the top parts of the jig that will keep pressure on the knife with some screws. So I had to design some holes that could welcome washers and screws and also extend these holes toward the bottom part of the jig. I also needed to keep some space on the bottom part of the jig to welcome the nuts. Designing a tunnel that is the exact side of the nuts, I will be able to just make them slide on position and screw my bolt without holding the nuts with a spanner. Now that the design is complete, I could import my model into Cura and prepare my print. I highly recommend you to check out the settings of the printer that I am scrolling here because I got an amazing result with them. These settings are especially very good for Chinese printers like the Industry, the CR10 or my printer which is an AlphaWise U20. I took these settings from a video of Chep from Filament Friday which is called Industry CR10 Perfect Print Profile from a Cat. If you don't know Chep yet and are into 3D printing, just go check his channel. It is such a tremendous source of information and it can help you a lot progressing into 3D printing. Alright, so then I printed my jig. It took me around 12 hours to print it and the result was super clean.
as you can see, I didn't put the washers because I forgot something when I designed the jig. I didn't take into account the height of the head of the screws and they were too close or even higher than the level of the knives. So removing the washers, the screws were less high and then it was ok. Well, unfortunately not 100% ok, because I still had one screw higher than the level of the blade. So I finally decided to remove the top part of the jig and use only the bottom part. The result was exactly the same and I think that you can do as well if you want to save some time not printing the top part. So let's start sharpening these knives. Here you can see how damaged it was before I started. I can let you imagine how long I had to send the blades to get rid of this impact. I started with an 80 grain because I had a lot of material to remove. But if you don't have any impact, you can directly start with a 400 grain with Japanese stones or sandpaper glued on a flat surface. Ok so here we are and you can see that there are no more impacts. I let you appreciate the result. Don't forget to set the height of the knives at the same height as the exit table. You can use a ruler to help you doing this. And here we are with brand new blades. That's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really like doing this project. I tried several other times to do this jig with some wood and I couldn't get the accuracy that I wanted. So I'm really happy that I could design myself something that it's really accurate and like works really perfectly so that's it for today if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't do it yet you can find many other of my videos just here you have many different topics like furniture creation or workshop improvement and also 3d printing as well of course i will wish you a good week and until next time don't forget that if you want something you can just make it happen bye